Ayushi is saying that love has turned into a relationship and that is having repercussions in my life. First of all, it's wonderful that you have already understood a very fundamental truth which is Ayushi that whenever anything turns into a relationship it goes bad. Whenever anything turns into a relationship it goes bad. Understand what I'm saying is a little puzzling, but stay with me and remain attentive. Love is a particular quality of relating. It is right now. It is not a concept of the mind. It is something absolutely new. It does not happen because you had thought about it. There is no background to love. That is why when it happens, it just throws you off your feet. <coughs> Are you getting it? Those of us who have had a taste of love would understand what I am saying. Because it is something that is not planned, because it is something that is not premeditated, because real love is not thought or conceptual, that is why when it comes, it comes like a fresh breath of air. In fact, I am understating. It comes like a tornado that blows you away. You are off your feet. Now that is love. Something new. Something fresh. It just happens. It's almost a surprise. You have not planned that I must fall in love with that fellow. That's why it rejuvenates. You discover that you are young. And it's so beautiful. Right? Now what happens to this? Very soon, this love, which had a fresh quality of relating, we give a particular name to it and we turn it into a relationship. We give a particular name to it and we turn it into a relationship. And relationship is always dependent upon past. <coughs> Understand Ayushi, the difference between love and relationship. Love is fresh. Relationship depends upon the past. And is very very limited. The moment you declare that I have this particular relationship with somebody, you already have a concept in mind. Love is not a concept, but husband and wife are concepts. Understand this. The moment you say that somebody is my wife or somebody is my husband, you already know what that relationship means. Now it is dead. Absolutely dead. Somebody has said that lovers die and on their corpses husbands and wives are born. It's only when lovers are dead that husbands and wives arise. Because love cannot have a name. Love is not a fixed relationship. But our mind, our poor little mind, it cannot tolerate the freshness of love. It has no power to live with the absolute uncertainty and wildness of love. So what does it do? It says, let's give a name to a relationship. 
लेट्स फॉर्मलाइज अवर एग्रीमेंट लेट्स टेक द सैंक्शन ऑफ द सोसाइटी सो फर्स्ट नेम दिल गिव टू इच अदर इज वी आर लवर्स वी टू आर लवर्स then they will say let's formalize it even more and then they will say now we are and the more you are formalizing it the more names you are giving it the more trouble you are creating for yourself you are thinking that all this is happening out of love i am saying all this is taking you out of love do you understand this you think that the relationship is born out of love from love and i am saying that because of the relationship now you are going out of love away from love have you heard that song सिर्फ एहसास है ये रूह से महसूस करो प्यार को प्यार ही रहने दो कोई नाम ना दो डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द पोइट इज ट्राइंग टू से प्यार को प्यार ही रहने दो कोई नाम ना दो सिर्फ एहसास है ये रूह से महसूस करो हाथ से छू के इसे रिश्तों का इल्जाम न दो सिर्फ एहसास है ये रूह से महसूस करो हाथ से छू के इसे रिश्तों का इल्जाम न दो रिश्ते रिलेशनशिप्स बट वी आर सो कीन टू टर्न द लव इन टू रिलेशनशिप एंड द मूवमेंट इट बिकम्स अ रिलेशनशिप लव इज गॉन now there will be expectations now there will be a definite code of conduct you are my my boyfriend how can you look at somebody else you are my wife you must take care of me go and clean my underwear <laughs> and that's what wives do now why must one independent adult clean the underwear of another independent adult but because you are a wife so you will do this and when you are cleaning underwears do you feel really feel like loving that man <laughs> love is gone now love is gone now duty has come in and love is not a duty love is not a duty love is absolute freedom in your freedom you love right you are not compelled to love you are not compelled to love but now there is underwear <laughs> and you are a good wife now what can you do and soon there will be kids because a wife must produce kids a lover is not constrained to produce kids but the wife must produce kids if you are somebody's girlfriend you can walk away any time but the wife has a certain respectability she cannot walk away any time what can you do now the individuals are lost and the images are living the individual is gone and it's a wife who is talking Have you ever wondered in all these movies that you see why do all love stories end at marriage? <laughs> There will be an entire love story and what happens in the end? Marriage. And after that? Amen. The end. You should ask. <laughs> what is happening after this? That is the real thing. Show that. But then the movie is ended. They'll not show you. 
that now she is cleaning the earth. <laughs> That's the real thing that you should have asked. But they are very clever, right? If they start showing you that, then the society's objectives will be defeated. The society does not want you to love. The society does not want you to love. The society does not want lovers. It wants husbands and wives. The society hates lovers. But it loves husbands and wives. It will say, go quickly get married. It doesn't matter. You don't love each other. It doesn't matter. Go and get married. <laughs> Marriage is good. Love is bad. And marriage is a name. So is any other relationship. I'm not advocating a living kind of thing. Even that is a name. Even in that there are expectations. Even in that there are expectations. And I'm not talking of just the love between a man and a woman. In every relationship, there are no individuals. Father and son. Do the father and son really talk to each other? No. <coughs> it's a father talking to the son. Not an individual talking to an individual. That is why sons are restless with fathers and fathers are never happy with their sons. Because a father can never be happy with a son. An individual can be happy with another individual. Not a father with a son. But we are so eager. He is my son. He will not say he is an individual. Have we ever seen our father as an individual? Very difficult. And that is why there is so much of suffering in our relationships. That is why our relationships are so dead. And we constantly feel like moving away. There is a certain suffocation there. So it is good that you are realizing that relationship causes trouble. Great that you have realized this. Now you are free from life. All your life, if you are learning your lesson, then you will avoid relationship. Yes, you will relate like a free bird. Hmm? Relating is another thing. Relationship is totally different thing. It's a wonderful thing that it's happening to you at such an early age. There are people who grow 40 years old, 50 years old, 80 years old. They still don't realize and they die wondering, what did I do wrong? They think probably life is suffering. Then they say, life is hell. What can I do? You know what? Man is born because he is a sinner. Then they come up with all those fancy stories. Life is not hell. You have made it into a hell. Life is worth living only in love. And you killed love. You killed love because you are so insecure. You quickly wanted to get into a relationship. Haven't you seen? Three months of dating and the girl will start asking, so when will we get married? <laughs> and she thinks it's cute. It's monstrous. You understand monstrous? Look at her face and see the devil and run away. <laughs> run away for your own dear life. The day she says, when will we get married? Run away. She knows no love. Had she known love, she would not have been insecure. You know what is she thinking? She is thinking that before you go away, let's get married. That way there will be a bond. A really loving person will say marriage or no marriage, how does it matter? I am not even thinking of marriage. This is sufficient. This fullness of love is sufficient. Who is thinking about marriage? Marriage is such a trivial thing. Who wants to talk about it? But you want to talk about it the first thing. I have seen people who even before loving, before loving, for them loving is an action. Before loving they will check which religion, which caste, which gotra. Now it is alright. Now I can love. <laughs> and what is her age? She should be at least six months younger. Because my parents do not like the girl to be older than the boy. So everything is verified. 
All checks done. All right. Now I will love. Oh, this fellow, can he ever love? Are you loving or getting a credit card with so many checks? My name is Alok Sharma. She looked quite pretty. I go to close to her and find out her name is Razia Sultana. <laughs> and Alok Sharma runs head, heels over heads. My goodness. And just two minutes back, he was singing all the romantic songs and he was feeling completely in love. I have discovered the nectar of life. She is the princess of my dreams. I was always dreaming about her. The moment he comes to know her name. Ah, my goodness, there are so many traps in this world. The world is so deceptive. They should have a nameplate somewhere here. So the moment we look there, we first see the nameplate. And we are warned. Does love look at names? Does love want names? We are occupied with names, labels, brands. You know, once I was in Bangalore looking at all these matrimonial ads. And how did they read? B.Tech Comscience, no C++, also good in Java and this is a matrimonial ad. <laughs> now will you talk C++ with her? <laughs> he is telling her all the operating platforms. But that establishes your brand. You know, Java, good. IIT I am. This is a love worthy fellow. This is a love worthy fellow. Let it be like a wild flower. When it grows, it just grows. Hmm? It can even grow upon a rooftop or by the side of a small stream. Let it just grow. Don't call it anything. Don't try to freeze it. Don't try to limit it. It will be dead. If you try to capture a flower, what happens to that flower? Hmm? If you try to capture a butterfly, what happens to that butterfly? It's gone. It's dead. All you will be left with is a skeleton. You want to live with skeletons? Hmm? Then why do you want to capture love? Why can't you just love and let it be? Getting it? Yes, don't raise expectations, let it flow, alright?